Hi, it's Charlotte here. This is actually my first voiceover, so bear with me. Since I'm entering my final year of university, I thought it would be cool to show my HKDSC, that's the Hong Kong Diploma of Secondary Education, Visual Arts, School-Based Assessment Sketchbook. Okay, that was a mouthful. So for those who don't know Hong Kong's high school system for art, we had to create four separate pieces over the course of three years that is linked together by a common theme and we had to create a sketchbook that shows our quote-unquote artistic process. You might also notice that the book lacks a cover. For the past few years, it was with my high school teacher and apparently that's broken off and this is what's left of it. It's been four years since I handed this book up to the examination centre, so counting back, I was 15 when I started working on this, and I finished it right before I took the university entrance exams when I was 17. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go into the details of what happened in my head when I thought of these concepts, because I don't actually remember most of them, and also because I think they're pretty much crap right now. Especially the parts where I claimed that I was experimenting with different styles and different art movements, but they really weren't. I mean, after actually reading on art history now, I realized I was absolutely clueless about what each movement was really about. Anyway, my theme was on fairy tales because I was and am still obsessed with everything mythological. Mythological? Fantastical? Anything that's not of the real world. I might show my actual pieces in a separate video, but right now I'm just going to show the process behind it. As you might guess, a lot of this was made specifically for the goal of getting a good grade, which I did. But there are also some parts that were genuine idea sketches that I cut and pasted back into this book. Anyway, basically what I did was that I liked to spread out different ideas and studies across my pages, unless they were the early ones where I lumped all the concepts together on one page before moving on. Looking back on a lot of the sketches, I realized that my lines were very rigid and it was obvious that I didn't have enough patience to actually observe different things. I think that every aspiring artist, when they were really young, had a standardized idea that what's in your head or what you imagine is more important or more quote-unquote genius than what you see. So half the time the observational sketches were just doodles of things I saw around me and I did not put as much time into really getting the details right. So it was more of a jotting down of ideas and things I want to include in the final piece rather than actually processing how I wanted to depict it in the final pieces. This is a really short video, but it was so much fun to revisit my practice from so many years ago. I hope you liked it and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to check out my other social media channels as well. Stay happy, my darlings.